I think we can agree that airports aren't fun. They are loud, smelly, and have really weird people, and everything is just so expensive. Like, $3 for a water? Are you kidding me? Why? $20 for this Big Mac? It doesn't even cost $20 outside of, outside of the airport. Why? But I'm sure most of you have never had anything, like, really bad happen to you. Like, so bad that you develop a fear of airports ever since. Well, as you can tell by the title of the video, I literally almost got arrested at an airport because of my own stupidity. I Okay, I know that sounds really bad, but let me explain. <laughs> we were coming back from a Boy Scout hiking trip. Uh, I'm gonna make a whole video on that, by the way. It's just, like, this thing deserved its own video. And we had to fly out of the Denver airport. On that trip, I bought a pocket knife from the training post thingy at the campsite and a couple other things. Now you may ask, Cole, why did you buy a pocket knife? Well, it had my name on it, so I, I thought it was cool. <laughs> anyway, before we got to the airport, our scout leader specifically said, take your camping stuff and any pocket knives out of your carry-on bag and put it into your main bag. I thought, but yeah, this seems pretty reasonable. We, we don't want the TSA to think that we're terrorists. I think you might know where this is going. So we get to the airport and we start moving through the security... <laughs> I throw my bag on the conveyor belt then all of a sudden I hear the TSA agent say wait I found something uh, I hope he's not talking about my bag sir we found this pocket knife in your bag <laughs> I left the pocket knife I got at the trading post in my carry-on bag like <coughs> I hate my life. You want to know the worst part? My scoutmaster asked me if I got all my camping gear out of my bag, and I said, Yep, I actually looked twice. <laughs> my stupidity knows no bounds. My stupidity is the driving force in this universe. Fortunately, the god... F fortunately, the god took pity on me. <laughs> Fortunately, the guard took pity on me and let me through. I know, shocking, right? I think the only reason he didn't think I was a terrorist because we were all wearing our scout uniforms going through TSA. My poor dad had to stay behind for like 10 minutes to answer some questions, and I felt so bad. I literally felt like I just drop kicked like, I felt like I just drop kicked like 10 puppies. I was miserable. And of course, I apologized to him like 900 times after he was done. Dad, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Dad, please, please, I'm sorry. 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 Dude, can you just like relax? Like, can you, can you can you give me some space? You're like really clingy. <laughs> he was, and surprisingly, he was only a, like a little bit upset. Like, like, dude, I literally almost just got all of us arrested for potential terrorism. Shouldn't you be like a little bit more upset at me? You know what else he did? He even managed to get the knife mailed from the airport in Colorado back to my house. So I think the lesson we learned today is check your bags extremely thoroughly, or else you might have a traumatic event in the middle of an airport. Like me. 